Hello Willo. Today's video covers one of the most exciting and cutting edge developments in quantum compute. Google's latest breakthrough with its quantum chip Willow. In this video, we'll dive into the details of Willow creation. Where Willow didn't just break records, it shattered them. It solved a problem in under 5 minutes that would take the fastest supercomputer on earth 10 septillion years to finish. Imagine holding a key, not to a door, but to countless dimensions. With Google's latest quantum marvel, the Willow chip, we might be standing at the threshold of a multiverse, a realm, where the boundaries of reality dissolve and every choice spawn a new universe. Could Willow be the bridge between science and infinite, much like the portals of Doctor Strange or the branching timeless of Loki? Today we are not just exploring a chip, we are stepping into the world of endless possibilities where science fiction inches closer to the science fact. So far understanding clearly, let's get started. Before we get into the specifics of Willow, let's quickly review the basics of quantum computing. While classical computers rely on bits to represent information as either 1 or 0, quantum computers use qubits. These qubits leverage the strange properties of quantum mechanics like superposition and entanglement to perform computation in ways that classical computers cannot. Superpositions allow qubits to exist in multiple states at once, while entanglement links qubits in a way that the state of one qubit can instantaneously affect another, even if they are separated by vast distances. These quantum properties make a quantum computer immensely powerful and capable of solving complex problems that are beyond the reach of classical machines. Now, let's talk about Willow. Google had recently introduced Willow as its newest quantum chip and it represents a significant leap forward in the pursuit of practical quantum computing. Willow builds on the success of Google's earliest quantum chip like a sycamore, which demonstrated quantum supremacy by a solving problem that would take in a classical computer thousands of years to complete. Am I right? But Willow, however, is different. It introduces several innovations that push the boundaries of what's possible with the quantum technology. One of the key improvements is the integration of more qubits. While sycamore used 53 qubits, Willow boasts 105 superconductive qubits which significantly increasing its computational power. Every additional qubit doubles the processing power. But it's not just about the number of qubits, it's about improving coherence times, error correction, and reducing noise in the system. It means Willow incorporate also cutting edge error correction techniques. Quantum systems are sensitive, extremely sensitive. Small changes in environment can cause error. And with regular quantum computer, the more parts means more chances for errors. And that's how things usually work. But with Willow, it completely flips the role. Instead of getting worse with size, it actually gets better at fixing its own mistake. And look and try to understand with these images, which illustrates one of Willow's biggest breakthrough. Let me just break this down for you. These 3 into 3 grid of 17 qubits that can handle fixing one mistake at a time, it's a basic proof that the system works. These 5 into 5 grids of 49 qubits which can now handle 2 mistakes and 7 into 7 grids of 97 qubits that can handle 3 mistakes at once. And the revolutionary part is that normally when you add more qubits, you get more errors. But Willow does the oppose. The bigger the grid gets, the better it handles. The main goal of Willow is to bring quantum computing close to practical applications. By solving one of the biggest challenges in the field, quantum error correction. Willow addresses this challenge by using a novel architecture that minimizes the influence of these disturbances, allowing it to process more complex calculations with grids. Willow uses logical qubits, which are found by grouping physical qubits together, enhancing their resilience error. This approach has shown that as the logical qubits once scaled up, the error decreases. 
the chip shows at current times that five times longer than previous generations are Google's quantum chips, which means the qubit can maintain their quantum state for longer. This is a crucial for complex computation. And one of the most exciting features of this chip is the new qubit architecture, known as a quantum multiplexing. Techniques allow the chip to operate at higher efficiency by using multiple qubits simultaneously. Additionally, Velo incorporates a revolutionary approach to quantum entanglement, which improves the speed and reliability of quantum computing, a critical factor in moving from the theoretical demonstration to real-world application. Google's Velo chip is being hailed as a key milestone in the quest for a quantum supremacy 2.0, what experts refer to as the next phase in the development quantum computing while Sycamon demonstrated quantum supremacy by solving a specific problem faster than a classical computer have far-reaching implications. Willow is expected to tackle more general purpose tasks that could have far-reaching implications in industries ranging from a finance to drug discovery. I mean think once about the number. Willow completed a benchmark computations in under 5 minutes. That would take one of the today's fastest supercomputer 10 septillion years to perform. That is 10 followed by 25 zeros longer than the universe had existed. And this achievement was measured using the random circuit sampling RCS benchmark, a test designed to push quantum devices to their limit. Moreover, the chip ability to process complex data in real time opened up exciting possibilities. For machine learning, Willow Power could be harnessed to accelerate AI algorithms enabling smarter systems that leash and adapt for more quickly than current model allow. Okay, think about a little bit utopian future about this. Imagine a future where quantum computers like Google's Willow chip don't just solve a problem, they become key to infinite realities. In the same way, Marvel's multiverse allow characters like Doctor Strange to traverse alternate dimensions. Willow's quantum capabilities could unlock parallel worlds where different choice, law of physics, and even versions of ourselves exist. Each qubit, instead of being a mere zero or one, could represent a divergent universe, each outcome forming a branch of possibilities. As we peer deeper into the quantum realm, could Willow help us to explain not just what is, but what could have been? Why we could simulate entire alternate realities, each governed by different rules? Quantum computing could become more than a tool for optimization. It could be a gateway to discovering universes where solution to problems like diseases or energy crisis already exist, where the evolutions of life look entirely different paths. Just as the Marvel stories are built on the exploration of infinite reality. Quantum computing may one day allow us to not only observe but to experience them through data, simulations and perhaps one day reality itself. It's not just about what we can solve today but about what new what we might uncover tomorrow. Willow was developed at Google's dedicated quantum AI lab in the Santa Barbara, California. With a focus of rapid prototyping and iterations, Google has built a specialized facility for this purpose significantly speeding up the development cycle by ensuring quick access to clean room and cryo sets where the chips are tested. The reaction from the scientists and tech communities have been mixed, but overall the excitement is palpable. Leading quantum physicists have praised Willow for its innovative design and improved performance. Dr. John Martinez, a key figure in Google's quantum team, noted that Willow marked a critical step towards solving the scalability issues that have hindered quantum coming in the past. However, some experts urge caution. Point out that while Willow is an incredible achievement, practical applications are still years away. Quantum computing is not a technology that will replace classical computing but rather complemented in solving problems that classical computational efficiency handle. In a world of physicist Dr. David Deutsch, we're still in the infancy of quantum computing and will just one step towards realizing its true potential. While Willow brings us to practical quantum computing, several challenges remain quantum decoherence, the tendency of qubits to lose their quantum state due to extreme interference, 
is still a major hurdle despite Willow's advancements maintaining the stability of qubits over a longer period remains difficult and scaling the technology to handle even more qubit is a significant engineering challenge moreover the computing power of a quantum chip like Willow comes with the need for ultra cold environments qubits must be kept at temperature closer to absolute zero which requires specialized and expensive cryogenic equipments for widespread adoption another obstacle is the development of a quantum algorithm that can efficiently harness the power of quantum computer while google's willow chip can perform impressive computations the algorithm that fully utilize its capabilities are still being developed quantum software need to evolve alongside the hardware to unlock the true potential of these machines in conclusion, Google's Velo quantum chip represents a monumental leap forward of a quantum computer with innovative architecture. Improved error correction and scalability, Velo brings us to closer to realizing the full potential of quantum technology. While challenge remains, the progress made so far is undeniable. Thank you for joining me today to explore the incredible developments in Google's Velo chip and the future of a quantum computing. If you found this video informative, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comment below i'd love to hear your opinion on where you think quantum computing is headed until next time keep exploring and stay curious